What's up guys? It's Zoom here. And if you clicked on this video, that means you're either new to the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game, you're returning, or you just wanted to stop by and see what the video is about. Now, no matter what brought you here, I want to say thank you for stopping by. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Well, without further ado, let's get into our topic today. So, if you clicked on this video, that means you're probably new to the game. And all I wanted to do today is let you guys know what to expect. And give you guys an idea of what it's like to play the card game. I'm not going to get into any major details on what cards to buy, stuff like that. I just wanted to let you guys know what it's like to play the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. The benefits, the positive things, and the negative things. So, let's get into the benefits. The benefits for playing the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. Uh, you get to meet new friends. You get to meet new people. It's a hobby that you can use to get your mind off of things. Uh, there's plenty of times where I just go to locals and you just forget about life. And you're just playing a card game you love. Um, and I've... I've been playing this card game since 2012 competitively. So I have a lot of time. I have a, a lot of locals, a lot of regionals, a lot of things like that. And it's definitely my favorite hobby I have. Uh, it makes me happy to play the card game. And that is the number one thing that should be on your mind if you continue to stay in the trading card game is making sure that you're happy playing it and that it's something you want to do um another thing is you meet a lot of great people like i have a lot of friends that i have made just because of this card game that i wouldn't have any other way uh traveling you meet new people uh going to locals you meet new people uh you actually probably even make a friend group at locals where you guys let each other borrow cards and stuff like that which that's actually very important to be successful in the card game is just having that friend group where you can play test all the time if you have a card your friend can needs for a local or regional you can let them borrow it vice versa friend groups are very important uh and if you're pretty anti-social uh it would probably hurt you uh because the most important aspect is having that friend group honestly uh unless you want to spend a ton of money and you buy every single card that ever comes out you're, you're probably not gonna have the same amount of fun as people that have friend groups that are always hanging with each other and always travel with each other stuff like that uh so yeah that that's another great aspect of the game it's just meeting new people making friends and just enjoying life with those people now let's get into maybe a few negatives about the card game uh the biggest negative i would say is probably the paywall um if you want to play at the highest level of the game if you're a very competitive person and you always want to win you always want to have the best this the best that um it gets very expensive which is okay um it's a hobby and you should should expect to spend some kind of money on a hobby uh so if you want to play at the top top level expect to spend four or five six seven eight hundred dollars you know um it depends on the format depends on what's needed depends on the reprints stuff like that uh but generally i mean I, if you want to play the best deck i would expect to spend anywhere between 300 to a thousand dollars um but that's okay because when you first start off, you're going to buy cards, you're going to build your collection, you can always trade for new cards that are coming out, the cards you need. The longer you're in a game, the less expensive it seems to you because you always have ways to trade for what you need, which is awesome. So longevity is very important. Another negative would be is it's really addicting. Um, it's kind of like crack. Uh, there's a saying that people have once you play Yu-Gi-Oh You'll always come back to it um, I've left the game a few times and I always come back 
Uh, it's just one of those things where you can go do other things. I went to play Magic for a while, but you just always come back to Yu-Gi-Oh. Every single person I have known that has left the game has ended up back. Now, there are people that can leave it for good, uh, which is good for them. Um, I'm happy for them. Uh, I hope they're having a great life. Um, but, yeah, it's very addicting. It's like crack. Uh, and if you can deal with that, then you'll be just fine. Um, but let's get into a, one more positive before we end this video. Another positive I would say to me personally would it be that the community is actually, no matter what anybody else says, I've been around a block a lot. The majority, now there are some bad eggs, but the majority of the community is great. Fantastic. Uh, I've been to, I'd say at least 100 locals. Uh, I've been to a ton of regionals. I've been to ARGs, which if you're new, you don't know what that is. It doesn't even exist anymore. Uh, but most of the people I meet are actually great people. Uh, I've met a lot of friends. People are usually very nice. There are bad eggs, but I could say the majority of my experiences are positive compared to the minimum negative. Like my positive experiences I've had at different shops, locals with players, stuff like that with interactions is miles ahead of the negative experiences I had. Uh, so I would say the majority community is great. No matter what you see online, no matter if you're in whatever Facebook group, uh, that's just Twitter fingers, Facebook fingers. In real life, majority of people are nice. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure if you find a local car shop, you'll find a ton of players that are willing to help you out and to help you build your deck and to go from there. But that's it for the video, guys. I just wanted to give you guys... A little idea what it's like to be new in a card game and if you like and enjoy this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe I will have more t content coming out uh, my channel basically does deck profiles I do a lot of dual videos which you can watch these dual videos to learn what the meta is and to to learn how to counter decks that you're having an issue with and I do informative videos like this so I hope you guys have a great day Peace.